invasive species that has scientists on high alert. The so-called murder hornets. Even giant hornets, nicknamed murder hornets. That's out with what's called murder hornets, reported in the U.S. for the first time. All right, folks, we're back with another weapon resin build, and this time I'm going to cast a murder hornet into the handle of a dagger that I'm making. Now, on this first video, I'm just gonna focus on the epoxy casting itself. And the reason for that is, in the other weapon resin builds that I've done, the castings haven't had the best results. I've had bubbles in the epoxy, some other issues with the specimens. So I've done some research, I've found some techniques, and we're gonna try all of those out today and see what kind of results we get. Also, murder hornet specimens are not easy easy to get. So I really want to do a good job with the specimen that I have, and I'll show you that here in a little bit. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. And now for some facts about murder hornets. So murder hornet is just a moniker. They're actually called Asian giant hornets or Vespa mandarinia, and they're the largest of all hornet species growing up to two inches in length. Okay, so the first thing I'm trying different is I picked up a pressure pot. Now these are normally used as spray rigs for painting, but I've modified this one for resin casting by adding a shutoff valve and an air inlet, taking off the things that it doesn't need, putting the regulator back on. You might be wondering, what is the difference between using a vacuum pot versus a pressure pot? Why would you use one or the other? A vacuum chamber is really good about pulling the bubbles out of the resin, but what it does is it lowers that boiling temperature of the resin, oftentimes you're more likely to have your resin, that exothermic reaction kind of kick and run away from you, which creates a whole bunch of issues. You'll get bubbles, you'll get cracking and other things. With this, it allows the epoxy to cure under pressure. It doesn't pull the bubbles out. It shrinks them so small that you can't see them in the final product. All right, so I'm gonna put some air in here, get it up to 50 PSI and see if it holds. Okay, you can already see that it is not holding air and I think I've identified the problem. It's gonna be this guy right here. I can hear the air leaking out of here. Okay, I'm not quite sure if you guys can hear that. I'll actually put my lavalier mic up to it and you guys should be able to hear it because it's just constantly hissing. So this was the stock relief valve that came with this pressure pot. I went ahead and jumped on Amazon and ordered another one. It should be here tomorrow or the day after. I've checked all the other connections. Everything seems good to go. I'm pretty confident that this is the weak spot. So we'll get that replaced and then we can do that first test casting uh, with the epoxy in the pressure pot. I'm using Total Boat's Thick Set Epoxy. Now this says right here on the bottle, Let's see, where is it? Operating temperature between 65 and 80 degrees. Now it is insanely hot. It's over hundred degrees outside, but so hot in the shop that as you see, I'm having to wear my running clothes because I'm just sweating through everything else. We can actually, we can tell how hot it is in here. 93.7, let's see how hot you guys are. 94.8, it's even hotter over there where I'm standing. Now when it comes to actually doing the real project, likely what I'll do is I'll take the resin and all my stuff back to the house and we'll do it there in a better controlled environment.
The stinger of an Asian giant hornet is a quarter inch long and can pierce a beekeeper's suit. Although rare, Asian giant hornet stings can be fatal and usually involve multiple stings. Okay, so as you saw, I just got the epoxy out of the pressure pot and these came out really, really good. No bubbles, no bubbles. I did lose a little bit of pressure. I think it was down to about 40 pounds, but with as good as these results are, I think I can make this thing work. Now, this is where this gets completely different than any other resin casting that I've done. I watched another video and I don't remember the title, but I'll make sure to link it down in the description below. But I, I watched another video where they cast a butterfly in resin, which butterflies are extremely delicate. And what they did was they poured a base layer of resin like I did, and then they used this. This is a heat forming plastic. They heated that and formed it around the insect itself and then poured a second layer over that, let that cure and it came out perfect. So that's what I'm gonna try. Now, I don't have any other insect specimens. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go around the yard here, maybe grab some flowers, um, some different things, some delicate things, and I'll use those. If that works, then I think we're good to go with the murder hornet. It's experimentation time. Remember when I said it was experimentation time? Sometimes experiments fail, and this one failed real hard. That heat forming plastic I used, it just didn't work at all. The flower is the best example. This is gonna be similar to when I do the murder hornet. There's lots of contours, and the plastic is just not conforming to all those contours. There's large bubbles, large voids, so. That's out. I think what I'm gonna do on this one is just kind of go old school with it, but I'll use the pressure pot because I had really good results with that. Pour a layer, let that cure, put the insect in, pour a second layer. That's usually where I run into the issues. That's where the specimen will float, it'll move around. I've had them even flip over somehow, I don't know. So I think what I need to do is come up with a way to hold the specimen right there in the form. I've got some ideas and hopefully it'll work because I cannot mess this up. I only have one specimen. Wish me luck, I'm definitely gonna need it. Asian giant hornets attack their prey by quickly biting off their heads and several hornets working together can decimate an entire bee colony in a matter of hours. All right, so I've moved everything into my kitchen. It's really hot, really bright outside. Okay, let's crack this thing open and see how that first pour went. Ooh, that looks really, really good.
Okay, it seems to be secured in there pretty well. The wires are kind of holding it down in place. I've mixed up another small batch of Total Boat Thick Set Casting Epoxy, and now I'm gonna pour about an eighth inch layer and just pray that this specimen stays put. It's the next morning. It's time to pull this out of the pressure pot and see if this was a success or a total disaster. Okay, okay, we can do this. Japanese bees have a defense against the Asian giant hornet. When one enters the hive, they mount a coordinated attack, mass swarming the hornet and raising the hornet's body temperature to the point where it dies. This came out awesome, like seriously awesome. Not a single bubble in this whole casting. Best results I've ever had. And make sure you guys get subscribed to this channel, hit the bell, select all notifications because you're not gonna wanna miss the next video. I'm gonna put this murder hornet into the handle of a dagger that I'm making. It's gonna be insane. We're gonna have lots of fun. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Also follow me on Instagram, at Johnny Builds. I post all kinds of behind the scenes stuff, in progress, I'm real responsive to my DMs. So if you need to reach out, you have a comment or a question, that's the best way to get a hold of me, at Johnny Builds over on Instagram. Okay, so what did we learn with this project? So first, pressure pot. That is definitely the way to go when it comes to resin casting. I'm kicking myself for not doing it sooner. Really, really good results. Again, not a single bubble. Now that heat forming plastic, that did not go very well. I don't know exactly why I didn't have the same results that the video, uh, the guy in the video that I watched had. So maybe it's something I revisit down the road, but for now, I don't recommend the heat forming plastic. Again, guys, the next video is gonna be awesome. You're not gonna wanna miss it. It's gonna be insane. We're making a dagger with a murder hornet in the handle. Okay, thanks for checking this one out and I'll see you back here next time. Late last year, there were two sightings of Asian giant hornets in Washington state here in the US. Now this is concerning because the Western honeybee is already in decline and they have no natural defenses against the Asian giant hornet. Since then, there have been no other confirmed sightings and hopefully it stays that way.